It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to another tutorial exploit. Yeah, I don't think this is a tutorial. This is just an exploit. This is a dirty one too, because this is something in the game that shouldn't be there. Here we go. So first of all, we're going to load up as Germany, because I think, now I think about it, the one instance where this exploit will be most effective is as of Germany. So let's just load up as the Germans. And move to this lovely port here. Okay. So, what is the exploit, Dave? Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Give me the good stuff. Well, first of all, if you do want more exploits in future, which I know they are quite successful on my channel, please leave a like on this video and tell me in the comments below, give me, Dave, more exploits. Give me more exploits. Particularly ones that work in multiplayer. They're the ones that are the sweetest ones, right? So, here we go. So, to plan an amphibious invasion, you select the anv... anv Naval Invasion Order. You know what? I never even knew it was called that. I thought it was called amph Amphibious Invasion. Never mind. Okay. So you select your location where you want to land and where you want to go. In most cases, the most successful landings are where you avoid the English Channel. So technically, if you go here, that's a perfect view. A perfect invasion plan. In that case, you are have the opportunity to grab that port there in Newcastle, which is a level 6 port. So that is a nice meme. Plus, you can also grab the one in Hull, which is a 5-2, which is just a few tiles away. It's a really good spot to land. Plus, you can split the north and the south off, which is also really, really good. So, you are limited to the start of the game based on technology, on how, mo how many divisions you can land. The maximum at the start is 10, based on the first technology of transport ship. So, as you can probably see, if I try to assign these, I'm control-clicking here. It's this one. control left click it won't let me because too many divisions. So, I have to drop it down to 10. And then I control click and we assign 10. So that's the maximum you can assign per invasion plan. Now you can make multiple invasion plans, which is quite popular as Japan. And what you can do is plan multiple invasions, but can't simultaneously execute them all in one go. You have to do them one at a time. Now I think about it, this is actually a really nasty exploit for Japan. Because what you could do is land into to China in the south with some crazy fat divisions. So actually, now think about it, at the start of the game, Japan probably benefits from this more than others. But you're still wondering, what is this exploit, Dave? What are you even getting from this? What do you mean? The maximum is 10. You've still got 10. Well, here you go. So this is a new one to me. Well, I say fairly new. Uh, but also, when you create an amphibious order, you can also plan an actual offensive order that comes off the back of it. So here you go. Look. So you've got the invasion plan and then an offensive order to carry out the execution from there on in. Now... If you control click and select the inf the offensive order after the invasion, you can assign more than the limit. Oh, Dave, this is cheating. That's right. So right now, what if I do? If I execute this order, I will send all 30 divisions simultaneously. So if you're not already aware, landing craft increases the capacity by 40, so maximum of 50, and then another 100. So the total of 150 divisions can be landed with an advanced landing craft. You also get other things such as extra defense and amphibious speed as well, which is nice too. And also the preparation time reduction is also really, really strong with the second one as well, because the time to plan these invasions is ridiculous. And if I look at the time, this will take 210 days to plan. But what you could always do, which is quite a popular strat, is to break off like four or five divisions, assign them to a different theatre, and have the actual amphibious orders planned in advance. So you could have a few of them. You could have one going here. You could have one going here. Uh, you could have one going to the south if you really wanted to. You don't have to execute those orders, but if you plan them in advance, you can forgo that massive amount of time you've got to wait to actually uh, execute the order. Just for the simple purpose of this game, um, it's not really going to be easy to execute in this short video because 210 days in game time is about five minutes depending on how fast your cpu is uh so it is going to take a while for me to actually execute that but all you really need to know is now you have an ability to sign more divisions to an invasion order in one go forgoing the extra technologies now you will benefit from the technology because that 50 percent reduction in invasion plan and defense is really really strong but the truth is now you can send as many as you like this is an exploit there's no even way around it there's no way of pussyfooting around on this this is exploitative mechanic that shouldn't be in the game that paradox are gonna what well, phase out basically uh, as far as i'm aware in a lot of multiplayer games people are aware of this and still use it but i kind of keep quiet about it keep quiet well now this video is out it's not going to be quiet and it'll probably be patched very 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 soon let's find another example so let's go to japan 
And let's go absolutely ballsy and select all my divisions. Make an invasion plan from Taiwan into, let's say, here. Because then you can grab this southern city. And you're probably thinking, oh, okay, Dave, that's okay. That's normal, right? We can execute these guys here. But we can't sign them all. We can't sign them all. What the hell, Dave? Can we sign a maximum of 10? But no. No, if we select them all and assign them to the invasion plan, we can assign 55 divisions. Now, this takes 385 days. So if you're going to do this plan, this overwhelmingly ambitious plan, you will need to do it and execute it and plan it from the very, 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 very start of the game. Uh, otherwise, it's, you're not going to have enough time to do it. Because as I said, you, you were at war with China in 1937, so you want to do this immediately. Yet again, it's a stupid plan, to be honest with you, because it's too many divisions. You need to hold the front as well in the north. But it just gives you a bit of an idea of how you can exploit this. Exploit. Hmm? Yeah? Yeah? There you go, my guys. Any questions about amphibious invasions? Any questions about the actual mechanics themselves? If you guys would like to see a tutorial about amphibious invasions, I have got a few of them on the, the tutorials playlist. Have a little sneaky look. There's a perfect D-Day on there and an Operation Sea Lion. And also a Battle of Britain tutorial as well. Gives you a bit of idea of the mechanics. They're a little bit role play. They're not really multiplayer friendly as such because there's better ways of doing things. But overall, it gives you a bit of an idea of how those mechanics work. And if you're a bit confused by them, it gives you a bit of an idea of what's going on. So from that, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out the playlist for, for tutorials. And I hope you have an absolutely epic day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.